Morning everyone, it's John from Ascent Fitness here and welcome to you all from Ronnie Creek. It's uh, just nearly 8 in the morning and we had a bit of a bleary eyed start this morning but uh, things are going alright now. And uh, the weather's looking a whole lot better than we were uh, a week ago. Uh, so we're pretty optimistic about what we want to do. So we're having an overnighter this weekend. We've got, uh, we're staying at Scott Kilbert Hut on the eastern side of Cradle Mountain tonight. Uh, to get there though, we'll be going up to Kitchen Hut, then going around the back of Cradle Mountain. And then we'll hopefully, if we can uh, get ourselves up Barn Bluff for lunch, that'll be absolutely amazing. And then uh, tomorrow, well, we'll see what that brings, but the weather forecast says it's going to be nice. And then that means we can do, well, pretty much anything we want. But let's get cracking and we'll see what happens. Well, here we are. Uh, it's amazing what a difference a week makes in the weather here. And uh, we were here a week ago and we've got none of this at all. But you can see why it is that people do come to Marion's Lookout. The view behind me of Cradle Mountain is just absolutely fantastic. And so really it's about an opportunity to get, catch your breath after we've just gone up the other Marion's link track and uh, just soak in the view. And why wouldn't you want to take your time with this? But once we're done here, packs will be back on and uh, start heading south towards Kitchen Hut. Well, here we are. We are around the back of Cradle Mountain. And if you uh, look over to my right there, it looks nothing like it does in the postcards. But uh, that's Cradle up there and the summit of it is up there. And no doubt it'll get a few visitors today. But our big objective is right behind me. And there it is that big beer barrel shaped thing that is Barn Bluff. It's Tasmania's fourth highest peak and uh, we're going to give, a, give it a red hot go to try and get up that. But from this view and further around you go, you get to see all of the rock stars of the Overland Track. It's absolutely fantastic. Far over to the left will be Mount Pelion West, an absolute brute of a thing and one of my current half suck lollies and it needs to be sorted out. And uh, way over there to Mount Inglis, an absolute sort of a thing. Been there once, never going back. So, full of adventures, lots of things that make it more interesting by getting up there. So let's get up there. Lunch is on board now and uh, we're all pretty happy because we now have packs that are much smaller on at the moment. What we've done is we've got our overnight packs there, we've decanted from those uh, everything that we need for any normal uh, day trip. And uh, from here, pretty much a day trip is what we've got. There's Barn Bluff and that's where we'll be heading. So no point taking all the rest of the kit, it can all stay here because when we get back to here, then we'll be heading this direction and we'll be going uh, along the Lake Rodway track uh, down to Scott Kilvert Hut. So uh, I think without further ado, let's get up Barn Bluff. Well, here we are, and uh, we've been walking today for about six hours, and now the walking stops. To give you an idea of where we've come, we've headed over from Cradle Mountain, which is a bit over there looking nothing like it does in the postcards. That's Cradle Mountain there. And um, you might be able to see a little bit of a white strip along this edge uh, that falls away. That's called Bluff Cirque. And we've made it our way all the way across here. And uh, even doing that, that's put me right where I'm right now. And as you can see, the guys over here are all looking up <coughs> at something in particular. And there they are, except for Dion, who really doesn't give a rat's ass because he wears hat. Uh, and then really what they're actually looking at is where the, uh, the walking stops and the climb starts because we're about to go up that. So that is the top of Barn Bluff, and uh, to get on top of that, we need to sort of basically go rock hopping for a while, and then scramble for a bit, and then get around the back, and more importantly, at the end of it all, have a cup of coffee. Let's go. <laughs> This is what we 
came for today and uh, that's the summit blah blah don't touch that you're not on the summit there is a this is a the, the when you do the climb you'll see it over this way pan over there is that there's a whole bunch of rocks on the nearest sort of sticky uppy bit we can come around that's what we call not the summit so if you're ever climbing barn bluff and you come around the corner onto the top you can go wow listen cairns are going to stand there and you do your victory shot you're going to have to come back and come back to this one that's further away they're always further away so what's the big deal apart from a big pile of rocks well there's the view so the view is all about it so if you just want to take a little pan around there that's around to the southwest of tassie and there's a whole lot of famous mountains about there and then keep moving around and the further you go around you might be able to see a bit of Lake Will uh, on the way down there. If you there, there it is, a bit of Lake Will action, that's great. That's so you can the overland track runs along the far side of that. In the middle of the screen there, a bit of uh, Mount Pillion West, Mount Osser at Tassie's highest peak. And um, Mount Pillion East and then moving across further to the left to Mount Oakley and Mount Pillinger. So anyway, we're having a great time, it's been a great little day. And um, we're now going to get ourselves out of Dodge and just be really mindful that uh, we've just got to make sure we live in the moment and uh, get all of the rocks under all of our feet, be absolutely super safe. Once we're down, we can then think about uh, steak and eggs and all that stuff. But right now, let's get safe and let's get down here. See ya. Well, here we are, back off Barn Bluff. Victor is all, however, there's still a little bit left to do. We are now 10 hours on the hoof, and uh, fairly soon the crew are gonna rack up 20 kilometers for the day, which on trail's a pretty big effort. So what stands between us and uh, having a rest for the day is 60 bone-crunching minutes heading across to Scott Kilvert Hut. And it's just down, 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 but it's just so uncivilized, it is unbelievable. But what you can see, <clears throat> walking around the park, is that the mist is coming in. It's almost like the curtains are being drawn on the day. You can see just all the mountain tops are just starting to be covered. Uh, Fury Prospect over there is just a bit more clear, but Barn Bluff, as you keep going around, just starting to get some of the cloud over the top. So we had clear skies at the top, not now. And over to Peely and West there, you can see things just starting to really close in now. So we'll look forward to life being a whole lot better uh, in about 60 minutes from now. Let's get cracking. Well, that's the end of a fairly massive day here for the crew at the Bushwalking and Mountaineering Program. We've uh, got a few things we can say we've racked up. We managed to knock on Marion's lookout and get round the back of Cradle Mountain. Uh, we've bagged Barn Bluff, the fourth highest peak in Tassie, and then made our way down to Scott Kilvert Hut. And as much fun as we have out here, it's a really appropriate place to be here at Scott Kilvert Hut. Just have a bit of a sobering reminder of things. So you and Scott and David Kilvert were from a teacher and student from Riverside High School in Launceston, and they perished here in the 60s. And so this is the second memorial hut that was made uh, in their memory, but also in an area not far from where they, where they perished. And so whilst it's great to get outdoors, we must always remember safety first, uh, making sure that everyone's going to be okay. Uh, and also remember that the mountains, as lovely as they are, we're never invited. So we've just got to make sure we have a good time, uh, but do it safely and make sure we've got all our checks and balances covered. And the most important checks and balance at the end of the day, the coffee. See ya.